My man Nick just finished 23.3. Let's go watch it. We got Nick Azor, we got Phil Dog, Philip Gentry, who everybody has come to know and love over the last three weeks. He's here. Uh, we've got our competitor side, and we have our foundations athlete. Nick, what were your initial thoughts when the workout was released? Well, um, I like handstand push-ups. So when I saw this, I was like, okay. Um, but the heavy barbell, that was... Um, I realized at that moment it was going to be real tricky because it's if you know you can smash through the handstand push-ups all day, but if your shoulders are smoked, can you snatch that weight? So I was a little intimidated, but I knew I would uh, try my best. And that's all we can do with these, you know. Bill Dog, what you got? Uh, I mean, I was fairly excited that it was going to be the last one. Uh, I just knew it's over. Yeah, it's, it's just done. it's just We're over. Done. Uh, I was a little apprehensive because. As the foundations, we don't have a break. Yeah. We just go the whole 12 whole minutes. Whole 12 minutes, <laughs> which so, we did have a little uh, discrepancy with our judge there in the middle, yeah. Anthony so, J. <laughs> that was the only thing was that I just looked at it and like, I'm going to have to go for a whole 12 minutes no matter what. How are you doing doing with your newfound fame of, of being the Mayhem Athlete Foundations athlete? I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't expecting it. Yeah. Uh, so, Nick, we're going to get to the snatches here. Um What's something we might have changed here a little bit? Yeah, so uh, bar path. Yeah. Um, so my immediate go-to. It's strong with, there. Yeah, I mean, my, that's 95. It's yeah. light. You should be able to it's move light. it quick. Yeah. It's light, but it's like at the end of the day, it's like you want to save You want to save your shoulders. You want to save your arms. So it's like why muscle snatch? You yeah. know, use your hips, use your legs, the things that aren't really being used. So The muscle snatch is way faster. <clears throat> sure, um, yeah. I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. I don't, efficiency, yeah, I mean, it's just straight up and down. Mm -hmm. um, but. If you knew or know that you're going to get to that 225 bar, why not go ahead and grease that groove a little bit? Get that, exactly, you know, yep. get the uh, technique back and, um, you know, save a little bit so you're not just bending over and pulling. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, um, I would say with the bar path, though, some of my, my thought process, at least with muscling it, I, I like to say, you know, I, I kind of feel like I'm saving my heart rate a bit just by not being so yeah. explosive with yeah. my hips. There's but, a trade-off there. Yeah, sure. but it's, it's, this isn't a heart rate workout, you know. I, in, in my opinion, I think towards the end, especially if you're if you get to that 225 bar, it's it's about moving the weight. The so more energy you've saved, yep, bank to that point. Exactly. So if I did it again, I would um, utilize my hips and my legs. Would you have broke it? Broke the snatch up a little bit different? Would you have stayed with that bigger set? You did what? I think ten and five. Ten and like five. That? I yeah. Um, my actual initial idea was to do ten and then five singles. Yeah. But I was like, nah. Like it's ninety five pounds. I feel like, like with that ninety five pound barbell, it's just moving around. Yeah. And, and dropping that plate. So. Yeah. Yeah. Just get it done. Phil, looking at this workout, what uh, what movement did you most look forward to, and and why? Uh, mainly, I mean, the snatch is fairly easy. I mean, even though it was just the bar, you're moving that bar uh, well, dude. Yeah, I I kind of like just doing snatches, so the bar, just doing the bar was just fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, we were talking a little bit before, those wall, or the, uh, not wall walks, the bear crawls add yeah. up a little bit, huh? They do. They they really, really tax your shoulders. You can't breathe while you're doing them. Um, really, at the, in, at the end of every five-foot section, yeah, you should just, you should just you stand up and breathe. Break. Yeah, because while you're down there, you're not breathing at all. No, no, it's a very uncomfortable, I feel like under, uh, you know, People overlook that movement a lot, thinking it's it's easy, uh, but yeah, it looks like it uh it, it gets you fired up here. Oh yeah, um, singles. You think on that? Yeah, sing that? singles. I, there was actually a moment when I was doing those where I wanted the touch and go. Yeah, and I mean it just felt good. Things just felt good, but yeah. it, it again it's like just reflecting on that later bar. You know, you can't you can't deny that you're gonna start touching that two twenty five. Yeah, you bar, almost got to look at hey, I'm gonna move for at least nine <coughs> or ten minutes if you're mm -hmm. on the upper end of this. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Maybe a little bit faster. And so you're not going to make up a ton of time by touch and go in that, but you could mess yourself up pretty good. Yeah, and uh, I feel like um, a common thing that I'll see with, with people with like um, cycling a 135 bar for singles like this is they'll back away from the bar, yeah. something like that. And you'll see it on the 185 um, bar. I just try to stay close to it, like get my hands on it, even if I'm not gripping, ripping it right away. Just get down there, like catch my breath for just a second and then lift. Um, so staying close to it was my idea, um, getting the hands to it and just uh, hanging on to it as much as I could. Yeah. What about them jumping jacks, Phil? 
They, they, were, they yeah. were the worst part. The worst part, was it? it? Heart rate just jacked up? Yeah, my heart rate went right through the roof. It's just, it's I mean, not something you normally do a whole lot. Yeah. And mm-hmm. it's just. And, and it ascends. Yeah. It's you, more. You, you get more. You're not going down. Everybody else is going down yeah. in reps. You're going mm-hmm. up in reps. Yeah. Mm-hmm. At the very end, you end up at 65, and that's just a lot. A lot of bounding, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a sneaky movement. You don't think? I mean, we've done them a couple of times in warmups, and and you think, oh, it's just a jumping jack, but yeah. it actually uh, is not not the most fun of movements that yeah. you think. Especially, I mean, doing a big amount of them, it just got rough after a while. Yeah, tax and calves, yeah. shins, breathing, all yeah, bit. shoulders a little yeah. bit too, probably. Yeah, yeah, especially <laughs> after the bear crawls where you're yeah. you're already out <laughs> yeah, of breath. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Then going right into them. Yeah. Did you um did you break intentionally or was it just kind of like going until you felt like you wanted to break? Did you have a strategy? I was with trying. It? Once I started getting pretty taxed, I was trying to do ten and take mm-hmm. maybe a five ten. second break. Mm-hmm. Um, Manageable sets so. though. Yeah. yeah. You're not mm-hmm. looking at it like you're doing the whole thing unbroken. That's yeah. good. Again, and here's AJ trying to rush you. Yeah, AJ here. <laughs> Yeah, uh, tells you you only have till six minutes. Bully. You got to hurry up. But yeah, nope. he was he was rushing me those last few or minutes of the first. I think I heard six. him say you got to do nine of the fastest snatches you've ever yeah. done, or, 12 <laughs> or something like that. Yeah, oh, that's funny. But yeah. that's again, that's another thing is that if you're doing Screwed foundations, up your time too. yeah. Well, it's, sorry, let me cut you off. Go ahead. No, foundations. But, um, as foundations, you're going to hold twelve minutes, so don't redline it. Yep. Don't redline any of it. Yeah, it's smooth. Yeah, it's constant. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, what was your Total, t- what did you get through? I got through, um, I want to say, did I start the jumping jacks? I think you were on the on, last. We'll see it here in a second, but I think you were yeah. at least on the jumping jacks, maybe the bear. Yeah, through the snatches. I can't remember. AJ, do you remember? Okay. Uh, here we go with Nick onto the 185 pound hmm. bar. Um, yeah, powered all those. <coughs> Would you sneak in a uh, squat snatch there at the end to kind of give you. Maybe get your mind in that frame or your body in that frame of mind. You know, for the squat snatch at two twenty five. That's so actually not, really smart. Like thinking, I didn't think about man, that. Man, if you'd have watched our tips and tricks video before oh, you did this workout, I know. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> so that that actually is really good because if you're planning on on uh, squatting the two squat snatching the two twenty five bar, um, that actually might be a good idea just to hit one full snatch um, on that last. Just get rep. that movement prime. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, that was my plan from the get, especially on my warm up sets before I started the workout. I was hitting some squat snatches just to make sure I was ready to go. But, I mean, I didn't think about it. So that definitely would be the move 100%. Yeah, we should have told you that before. We were in here talking <laughs> about it while you guys were all warming up. So, <laughs> yeah, right. I think, you know, definitely if you're getting to that last bar, if you're not incredibly strong, um, you might be able to power a couple of them, but it's not it's not a bad idea mm-hmm. to go ahead and uh, mm-hmm. start warming up that squat snatch just a little bit. Yeah, 100%. And then go into the handstand push-ups here. Um, I, my, honestly, I had, no, I had no plan for the strict handstand pushups. You're unbroken um, the first set, right? Yeah. So unbroken on the first set, uh, they just felt good. My plan was actually, um, eight, seven, five, but then when I started going, I was like, nah, let's I just, well let's just go. Out. Let's just go. And then, so here I did 13 and seven. Um, I mean, maybe I should have just done 15 and five. I mean, not much of a difference, I guess there, but, um, I just had that 225 bar in the back of my head. Um, and, uh, just wanted to make sure I was ready to go. And I got there, um, yeah, yeah, I think you. I think you did great. Did the what did the wall walks do to the handstand pushups? Did it mess them mess them up bad, or um, was it just kind of like a warm up almost to them, or was yeah. it a snatch that affected mm-hmm. them more? So I would say all of it. Yeah, all of it, and I, the fact that your jump rope is the size of a twelve <laughs> foot tall human being. I'm pretty sure the jump rope might be out of frame here, so we got to fix that. Yeah, it's huge, and, and you're doing a max effort jump every mm-hmm. time that you jump. So I'm jumping tall. Yeah, so yeah. we got to work on that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just working on my vertical. You yeah, know. yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> Dual purpose training. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, so if I was to clean anything up, for sure it's that. Du- I mean, yes. you're using so much energy trying to get yes. that rope around, and your hands are out wide. Mm-hmm. We've talked about it a little bit at the gym, but not a ton. Um, I think definitely working on shorten, uh, mm-hmm. shortening your rope in the mm-hmm. offseason for sure. Yeah, and so something like this, efficiency with the jump rope would be so important. I mean, I mean, looking at me, I mean, you can see me jumping tall. I'm using my arms a lot. Yeah. Um, and when it's a very shouldery workout, um, it, it's it's going to be very useful to keep keep that efficiency um, tight. So, Phil, you're coming down. Is this the 60 jumping jacks about to hit nine snatches? I think. I think so. I think yeah. so. What do you What are you thinking here? You're just trying to you. Trying to get through it, you trying yeah. to yeah. I'm just concentrating, <laughs> just hanging on. on. Yeah, I just doing wanted your to judge, keep AJ moving tells some. You. Yeah, I yep. just wanted to keep moving some. You still doing tens here on your jumping jacks? I believe so. Yeah, 
Yeah, uh, I think this was when I was really trying to just do 10 at a time. Uh, just just to get through them. them. Just yeah. chip away at them. And not take a huge break either. Yeah, this is a little bit daunting. The, the jumping jacks go up, which is, yeah. you know, and everything else that goes down. So you get back to that bar. Yeah, so you will get through at least the bear crawls here. Nick, we saw that miss. Yes. Um, we talked a little bit about it, but you're not not reaching full extension. Nope. Yep. Mm-hmm. And uh, jumping back a little bit. Jumping back a bit. That's That's been an ongoing issue with me for a while. But it's like when you're in the heat of the moment, yeah, you yeah. forget about those things, yeah. right? And so hearing some cues um, uh, from you and just from other people around me, saying like drop through your feet or full extension that was super helpful especially on those fatigue yeah you reps. could really tell especially when i mean we were trying i was trying to get through to your head to to finish that pull rely on that mm-hmm. pull because your shoulders are fried at this point oh, heck you're yeah. just mm-hmm. you know kind of hanging on and so use that pull um save those shoulders just a little bit mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. you go on like a weird tear right here where you hit three i think in like three and a half seconds um <laughs> But that was impressive. Uh, it, I will say it was definitely everyone uh, hyping me up. That was helpful. Also confidence, though. Like, I mean, it felt good. Yeah. And then it's also like, I mean, what do you have to lose? Yeah. Like, freaking just go. Got a minute, you know? right? Yeah. So I think I missed there. And then I made the next one. And then yeah. I was just like, let's just go. And like, you go into, the, like I said, it's like hit three back to back. So Yeah. Yeah. So Phil grinding on these bear crawls. Yeah. That's my favorite part of the movement, huh? Favorite part of the workout was the bear crawls. No. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. Yeah. 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 Because by the end, I I just, I wasn't even trying to breathe. It yeah. was just. You know, you got a minute. You might yeah. as well just try to get back to that barbell. Well, yeah. back to those jumping jacks. Those jumping jacks, um, you know, you got five, because you're going five bear crawls the whole time. Yeah. And then now it's on to those 65 jumping jacks. Yeah. I think yeah. this is where. Stay with tens? Or did you just kind of hammer this last 30 seconds? This where Nick's on his tear. I think I was doing tens. Yeah, I think I was tens. still in doing staying tens. on tens. Yeah. Um, right here, I I acknowledge where I was on the clock because that was my fifth rep, and so I was like, let's just shot clock here. Or yeah, because if I rushed it, I, I mean, two twenty five. Yeah, two twenty five is one of those weights for me where it's like I can move it, but <laughs> I got hype there. Yeah, um, <laughs> might as well. Two twenty five is one of those weights where it's like I got to think about it. Right. And, yeah, right. Of course. Right. And especially under fatigue, so it's like I wanted to be smart with it, but I saw that clock ticking, and I was like, we just Heck gotta, yeah, gotta we go just for gotta it. Go. We just gotta go. But shoot, shoot half court shot there. So yeah. it was good. It was a solid finish. Both of you guys, Phil. What's one tip you got for people <laughs> attacking the foundations? Well, how many, whatever tips you got. Don't attack it too hard. Just, again, it's just like everything else. It's a workout. For us, for foundation people, it's going to be 12 minutes no matter what. So uh, Unless you can get through six snatches faster, but then you probably shouldn't be true. in foundation. So Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, yeah, you just got to go in there and try to breathe as much as possible. There you go. Yeah. I like it. And smooth, manageable <laughs> sets on those jumping jacks, right? Yes. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Turn around on those bear crawls, stand up a little bit, try to get a little oxygen. Yeah. Grip Try not to do any of it un- uh, unbroken. Did you not do any snatches, any of the snatch sets unbroken? Oh, well, the snatches. Okay. Yeah. yeah okay. Snatches. But I was just doing, yeah. Yeah, just kind of getting a rhythm and go with those. But any any of the body weight stuff, just just go at your own pace. Go at your own pace. Yeah. Nick, what do you got? Parting gift. <clears throat> um, uh, First round for time. I'm just joking. Um, yeah. we'll do, uh, I would say uh, definitely um, just be smooth. Um, try to just be relaxed. I'd say breathe, I guess, would be my first one. Uh, it's easy to come out hot on these open workouts. Yeah. So it's the third was week, it though. Bre- so. Was it breathy? That's what we were wondering. Yeah, Is it, it, like, weirdly breathy? Honestly, the beginning part was because it's light enough to spike the heart rate. Um, I, I actually reflected on the first open workout um, of the cleans, the 30 cleans. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that, that got your heart rate up. Just yeah. like, the, I mean, like a, a barbell is going to do that. A light barbell is going to do that. Yeah. So... Um, just breathe, stay relaxed. Um, you might find that you have more time than you think. So breathe. Yeah. Cool. Breathe. That's Nick's parting gift. Phil, stay within yourself. Yeah. And Phil, you might just be ahead on the screen. <laughs> we're being notified since you're wearing a green shirt. Yeah. <laughs> so if it is, that makes it more interesting. Sweet. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just blessed. Uh, yeah. Blessed with the head above. <laughs> That's funny. What else we got? Anything else? Good. Is that how these things usually end? Yeah. All right. Cool. Peace.